Hi, my name is Adnan, and in this video, I'll show you how to use the Megascans Live Link for Autodesk Maya. To start off, I'm going to click on an asset, which will open the side panel. I'll go to the export window here, set my application to Maya, and then hit download. This will download the Megascans integration for Maya. Once it's downloaded, I'll just click on copy here, which will essentially copy these lines of code. Now, back to Maya, I'm going to click on the word mel here to toggle it to Python and then paste the lines that I just copied in the command line down below. I'll hit enter and now my integration will be installed. So here we have the integrations live link. We can set up the render in this drop down. In this case, I'm going to select Arnold and then I can close this window. You can find it back anytime by going to the MS live link shelf and clicking on the Megascans logo. So let's close that one. Before we export an asset, I actually want to make sure that my scene is using the proper unit settings. So I'm going to go to Windows, Setting Preferences, and then Preferences. Under Settings here, I want to make sure that my working units are set to centimeters. Once that's done, I'm going to save and then go to my grid. I'm going to right click on this icon over here and then Grid Options. I'll set the scale of my grid to 200 the grid lines to 25 and the subdivisions line to 5. Once I've updated my grid setups, I'm just going to click on apply and close. So now it's going to create a plane and I'll set its width and height to 200 centimeters by 200 centimeters. So this is the ideal scale that we have for most mega scan surfaces. I also want to increase the width and height of the subdivisions to 34. So I'm just going to hide the grid. Now, if I go back to bridge and just hit export, the asset is actually going to be imported in my scene. We can't see anything yet, and that's because we need to activate our texture viewport option. So once you click on that, you'll notice that we now have the textures in our scene. So I'm just going to go to Arnold and then open the render view. If I hit render, the viewport is going to be completely blank, and that's because we don't have any light in our scene. So let's pause the render and then go to the Arnold tab and add an area light. I'm going to scale it up a bit and position it. I'm going to rotate it slightly and then hit render again. As you can see, the viewport is still empty. And now what we need to do is go to the attribute editor and deactivate normalize. Once you do that, the render should automatically start. So let's zoom in on our asset. And I'm actually going to increase the light intensity quite a bit. And there you have it. Now I'm going to import a 3D asset. I'll go back to bridge. And I'm actually going to export this rock over here. Now you can either export with the help of the side panel by clicking on export here, or you can directly click the export icon here and the mesh will automatically be sent to Maya with all the shader setups. All right, that should be it for this video. Don't forget to check out our forums if you have any more questions or suggestions, and I'll see you next time.